Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to create a button in Android and react to this button when you click on it. So at first, we go to our REST folder, then to the layout folder, and open the activity main.xml. We will leave this text view here as it is, and drag a new button to the screen. Okay. Well, let's change the text on the button to do this we have to go to the values folder down here and um, open the strings XML okay um, we we'll call this one btn click and the value should be click you can close the XML right after that go back to the activity main XML right click it edit text btn oh i made a mistake i called it click click through it should be click it's not very important but why not so let's change it here again edit i am um, edit text sorry edit text btn click okay you can save that and close this one okay and now let's go to our java class main activity java class and get a reference to our button we will do this by creating a new button here saying button btn click or yeah btn click is a new it's a good name btn click and you have to import you have to import the button it's this import here so don't, don't forget to import this button object here i've already done that okay then um you have to get reference from our java class this one here to our xml class and this is done by saying bt and click equals um, find view by id and it requires an id as you can see here and the ID is what we said what we did before we, it's, it's called btn click here oops sorry I thought that we had already um, set the ID but we hadn't okay then let's set the ID we call this ID btn ID and you can see here that the name changed to the ID's name Okay, you can go back to our main class and give it the ID. And the ID will be r dot id dot um, btn id. There it is. Okay, we will have to cast this one to be a button because this right here is just an integer value. So we have to cast it to be a button so that. The Java class or the or Android or Eclipse, whatever it is, knows that this 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 line here means that it should be a button because we set it here too. Okay, now we're going to say btn click dot set on click listener, and we will type inside this because it requires an unclick listener inside here and I'm going to show you how to do this in a simple way so we just type in here this and this means that um, it should look inside between this Java class here and find an unclick listener so we have to do that right now so we will say that our class main activity extends activity and implements on click listener um, make sure that you choose this one from the view class not dialog interface or remote controller so it has to be this one from the view class and go right here and unimplement and add unimplemented method you can type this one if you want but I do it the fast way okay and in this year we are going to write the code 
which should um, which um, should refer to the unclick button. So, so to test if the the unclick button even works, we're just going to make um, our Android app um, pop up a toast to show us that the, the clip um, to show us that the button is working. So, type in toast dot make test, and here inside here is we we'll type in this then text um, hey. Um, um, the button and um, alive, and the duration should be toast dot length shot. And do not forget to show your toast by making it like this toast dot show, and that's all for now. Um, let's run this one here right now and see if it works run as an android application here's my emulator um, it says launching project 100% okay but I ain't seen anything here let's just be ah cool as you can see the project launch here's our text view here's our button and if you click on this button it should say um, should pop up the toast we created inside here so let's try this on out here it says hey i'm the button and i'm alive cool and that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe